Hello EV lovers, today we are going to be discussing Ford and what is going on because we currently hear that Ford is going to invest massive amounts of, of money. We're talking about the north of 50 billion US dollars in order to ramp up their EV units. In the same time, we hear that Ford is cutting EV production. So let's find out. Let's dive in. Welcome, my friends. You are watching the Better Future Project, where we are all about sharing positivity, knowledge, and having a good time together. Recently, Ford CEO um, showed up onto the TV, had an interview, and he discussed what is Ford going to do about EVs. And into the first quarter of this year, they have sold just over 10 thousand units which is really good news for ford however this is driven mostly mainly because of the huge discounts ford has done <laughs> these discounts reflected onto the profitability of the uh, ford overall because they lost a staggering 132,000 us dollars per vehicle sold this is how expensive for ford is currently to produce vehicles their innovation needs to kick in because Ford is a great company. They build great pickups. They build great cars. Model, 3, Model T is one of the first ever vehicles uh, mass produced into America. Uh, and it's just an iconic legacy automaker that deserves to create a fantastic EV cars. Hopefully they're going to do something about it because currently they seem to be stepping back. I think the profitability or I, would, I should say the loss of the uh, EV arm is actually impact, impacting their balance sheet. Currently they are balancing this because of the sales of the ice vehicles they are having. However, we know that this is currently collapsing and it's slowing down everywhere in the world, including in China. In China, we can see that EV sales are dominating and other manufacturers like Toyota, Hyundai, Honda, Ford, and etc. etc. They are actually really, really struggling. Their sales seems to be going down significantly. So Ford needs to sit down, plan ahead, and actually do um, double, double time, double speed, double investment, everything double into EVs. EVs are the future and they should create smart vehicles that are actually competitive onto the market. Hopefully Jim Farley is going to say, come on guys, this is the direction, let's go forward. Currently we can see that Ford is struggling so much that literally Jim Farley said, we have no choice. And now I start to think personally that Ford are so behind that if they don't do something drastically quickly, uh, bankruptcy is a real possibility for this legacy uh, company that is ex in existence of over a hundred years. We know that the, the dominance of Ford currently into some areas of vehicles, like the pickup vehicles, is a real thing. Ford F-150 Lightning is actually selling really, really well. Uh, it's on uh, first position as a pickup sales, electric vehicle sales in America. But we know that the Cybertruck is coming. We know that other uh, car makers and new electric vehicle manufacturers are coming for uh for for this market so ford needs to continue to innovate they they needs to continue to invest and otherwise or, or otherwise they will be they, they will just be behind anyone and everyone else so hopefully jim farley is going to focus on this also we know that the um the, the idea behind Jim Farley is not just to compete with Tesla. Obviously, Tesla is the leader into the EV market sales, but Jim Farley wants, wants a, a, and have other competitors as well. Let's not forget that EV is not, EVs are not the only area where Ford is facing competition. Actually, the ICE vehicle segment of Ford is facing much more competition at the moment. Not only because you have other big manufacturers like GM in America, and of course, uh, BMW, Mercedes, etc., in uh, Europe. But also, Ford is facing uh, this 
constant drops of um, reducing of ice vehicles uh, sales, which means Ford is now going to have a double whammy, I would say, because what will happen is ice vehicles are collapsing, EV sales are, uh, are about 10,000 a quarter, but they are so expensive, they cost Ford so much money. I really hope that Ford is going to focus and find a way and a solution and they shouldn't be scaling back. They shouldn't be lobbying the US government and Europe Union. They should actually focus on creating a compelling vehicles that are electric, clean, green vehicles. In fact, Jim Farley recently said that they will focus so much onto the electric vehicles that are going to be affordable. But uh, he basically admitted that they are years away from that. Which means that in the next two, three, four years, Ford is going to be nowhere close to affordable electric vehicle that is actually profitable for the company. And this is really dangerous because till 2030, we are going to see a major shift into the whole market, which means, which means that Ford is going to have uh, a great pressure from collapsing of their ice vehicles and obviously the expenses that EV, EV vehicles are putting onto their balance sheet. Jim Farley is on a crossway. He will need to take some bold decisions and pull forth from some markets and focus heavily onto EVs, including doing some licensing deals with some of the already established EV makers and hopefully going to add a software like FSD from Tesla in order not, not just to survive, but also to thrive on future sales uh, and of course, to keep the company alive. Godspeed uh, to Ford and Godspeed to Jim Farley because I believe Ford can build beautiful vehicles, very compelling ones. They just need to find a way to put that cost down and hopefully if they do so to keep the company afloat. If you like my content, make sure you like and subscribe that video, leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next one.